Hey everybody, um, I had another short little discussion for you guys. Um, if y'all haven't figured it out, you're returning to the Fremat podcast. I am Matt Fremat. Um, well, the Fremat podcast is usually a libertarian roundtable discussion between me and General Patrick Flynn. General Patrick Flynn is doing better, still tangled up with work and family stuff but he sends his regards now the article i don't even know if i've covered this before but it's worth talking about again it was about military gear to cops and this is old it was december 2020 but one of the things is we even politicians in my state talked about giving cops gear Hand me downs from, I want to say the Department of Justice and uh, other organizations, even the military. And this was like armored cars, flak, you know, uh, armored, uh, what do you call those? Vest, bulletproof vest, things that I remember being in the military wearing. And, and they talked about dealing with riots and stuff. Now, it was the Department of Defense's 1033 program. And I think uh, at one time there was an executive order and uh, it was restrictions by the Obama administration. And uh, it was almost zero cost. And they talked about armored cars and things like that. And of course, Americans in Congress doesn't like to see armored vehicles rolling up to protesters because it looks like garbage. And at one time, uh, when Donald Trump was still around, I think he had opened it up again. Um, law enforcement, some research and stuff saying that, you know, war gear was good for crime. And we'll say it was uh, Jefferson Sessions, that's a then Attorney General. And they talked about uh, it was some kissy kissy stuff about President Trump. And of course, the they gloss over superficial concerns about deploying war gear against U.S. citizens. And, of course, um, one of the things they brought up was thinking you're in a war zone instead of being a public servant who needs a relationship with the people they serve. And, of course, um, do, 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 do. the push for more distribution of military gear was backed by a study by the American uh, Economic Association, which claimed law enforcement agencies utilized 1033 were more effective at lowering crime rates. And of course, they said that data has been examined by two other sets of research, and they, they have conclusions that contradict it. Okay, Emory scholars read the studies. They noticed stat statistical flaws in the analysis uh, they set out to rigorously test those two previous studies by replicating. They utilized the same NPR data, 2014, and applied the studies same methods of analyst. Okay, so what they got was the attention of Emory scholars was that the studies were doing the analysis at the county level, not the municipal level. And it says, i.e., the individual jurisdictions of cities. So there wasn't a way to directly compare which local agencies received SME, I think that's uh, military uh, gear, in their specific crime rates, because the federal government only reported 1033 program data at county level. And there's a big difference, because many counties being di different or watered down compared to bigger bigger areas. Do, 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 do. Oh, and it, yeah, I forgot, it says... There was more data available to double check the claims made by these earlier studies. Um, the Obama reforms uh, mandated more reporting on acquisition would give these researchers more to work with. The granular detail missing from the first studies was included in the second examination. Okay, it, the, the agency level data and an and, and analyst that they determined the SME didn't reduce crime. It crystallized so many of the concerns and claims both pro and con about policing in the U.S. 
it raises the matter of funding the police and how do we provide resources to the police through money or giving them equipment. It raises the matter of police militarization. That the police look and act like they're soldiers at war against uh, citizens. And that was Associate Professor Michael Owens. And it raises questions about efficiency, cost, and benefits. Um, and it, I think the University of Michigan professor had talked about it, too. Um, they said that uh, that most variation in militarization comes from previously unobserved sources, which implies that studies that show crime reduction benefits are unreliable. In other words, uh, the numbers are cooked because uh, from 0 to 2.5, it's a step above. Said difference in difference uh, estimates of agencies that retain similar equipment show negligible or undetectable impacts on violent crime or officer safety. And of course, the studies have drawn some, drawn some criticism. They said LEOs, who performed an oversight of their own, dispute these findings. Of course, they like they like toys. And that's what I'm getting at. Everybody likes toys. And of course, there's police unions that say a bunch of crap and say that, yeah, they were like the two studies are convoluted logic. Oh, they've never been the there's never been a contention in the FOP that surplus military equipment prevents crime. Of course, they just the quote from the uh, Fraternal Order of Police. He he does some Mickey Mouse just big word talk. And they mentioned, so do cops really need war gear to make them safer? Crime rates in most of the country are still at historic lows. Uh, I don't know about that. But anyways, there's a link. If you guys want to look at it, it's fine. They mentioned safety was is higher than it Well, high is, that's a relative term. But they said the officer safety is somewhat high. Last decade has been the safest time in history to be a cop, and yet complaints... And there's a link if you want to read. There's quotes. Please check them out. Yeah, complaints like those are always offered up anytime someone points out the flaws in their logic. So military given to cops doesn't recruit crime, and it likely doesn't make officers much safer than they already are. Now, that's one of those things. You probably want to dig around. I would say that after what I've read, it really, I don't want to say it was negative or positive. It just... It's not the jazz that you think it is. And the one thing I can say is when you see people decked out like that, it just brings it brings me to mind of like Russia or China, like Tiananmen Square. And the thing is, it's dangerous. And the best law enforcement are the people who go out and they do their beat and they get to know people. And they know kids. They know people, they have stores, they they read, they hear, they they was it keep your nose out for weird smells, and that's a, a I know that sounds silly. I'd say that, but in that in that same mentality, you have to keep your ears open. You have to know what's going on. You have to go check on something. Does that look weird? Call it in, write it up, and that's it. And police can't do it when they're making enemies of people and they're making them feel like subjects. They're not subs. They're not unsubs. They're people. And I think it looks bad when you have the military roll through or when what looks like the military roll through. It doesn't look good. So, guys, please check out that article. I'll put, it, put a link down below. It's from Tector. Um, let's see, over here, notifications or thumbs up somewhere over there um way down there i'll put a link to the blog feel free to try to catch up on that i have some articles uh, just keep yourself entertained for a little bit all right guys now i do want to say i want you to be more involved with your community and that's what stops crime and that's what stops people from hurting is you being on a swivel and knowing your neighbors keeping your nose out, giving a crap. And when you start living your life and not being a busybody, but caring about other people, not, you know, calling the cops and being a rat because somebody sneezed, just become a part of people's lives again. Give a crap, and that's a big start. Now, 
I do want you to take care of yourself, but um, feel free to. St I'll put out some more, put out some more videos and articles. I will tell, uh, I will tell General Patrick Flynn you said hello, and uh, we'll catch you next time.